Hi, today we're going to wire wrap a little dry rosebud. Let's get started. First, we have a few dry rosebuds. A thin piece of wire, maybe 24 gauge, about a foot, maybe a hair longer, but about a foot long 24 gauge wire. And the tools we'll be using today will be a flat needle nose, a round needle nose, and a basic pair of wire cutters. Let's get started. So first, let's take the rose, look it over. You got this little ball at the bottom of the rose, try not to break it, but if there's something below it, try to cut it off a little bit. Then, I take the greenery, sometimes I wrap it with it, but in this particular case, we're gonna gently pull down on these and take them off, clean up the rose. Now we have our little rose, it's all kind of cleaned up. Let's take our wire. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it in half. Match those. Pull that down like that. Okay, and I fold it in half. I take the round needle nose, and I'm gonna bend this and find the middle. Okay, so here's the middle, right about here. I kind of look, and so, I'll Whatever depth I use here will be the size of the hole at the top of the rose. So I want it about here, so I put it about there. I bend that around, and I lock it in by spinning it about one and a half times. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I want this, I'm gonna now wrap, twist these two up, and I want it to come almost to the top of the rose. So I'm gonna twist it about this far, okay? Let's do that. And so now you can hold the rose up and look. It wants to go just a little bit farther. So let's twist it maybe one or two more times. Okay, again, giving it a little curve there. Hold the rose up. We could look. And that's about right, almost to the top of the rose. Perfect. Now I'm gonna take this off. And what I'm gonna do is cut off this other edge. That way we have two more wires. Take the round needle nose again, I put it back in, and I hold it there. I spread those out a little bit, and twist that up so it matches the other side. Give it a little curve, kind of take a look, still a little short, maybe one or two more times. Okay, that's about right. Okay, I'm right-handed. And so what I do is, I take this in my left hand, and I take the rose, and I hold this here like this, and I just kind of catch it there. And what that does is it allows me to work with my right hand. Okay, I'm gonna bend these wires down a little bit, like this. Okay, while keeping the wire centered on the rose. Okay, bend this down a little bit like that, curve that one, curve that one. And I just kind of catch it right there while staying centered. Now, I take those two and I gently lock that in. And I'll bring that towards the top here. And I'll spin it up. And then, I'll look and that's about right. So I take that and I hold it. And I turn that over. Catching it and holding it lightly. Bring that down here like this. And I'll lock that side in. And again, working towards that little hole at the top, we just spin that up. And that little bit, a little curve. We'll pull it up to look. Maybe one or two more, maybe one more time. That'll work. So I gently do this. I hold that like that. I kind of do this. And I keep it at centered. Bring that down, that down. And so while staying centered on the rose, okay, make sure it stays in there. And I center that a little bit, and I lock it in. Let's 
spin it around. That's what it's kind of looking like so far. And I hold it right there. And again, I'll lock the other side. Excuse me. Okay. So that's what it looks like so far. I'll take my flat needle nose. Actually, let's cut these guys off. So about, about that much. The longer this is, the bigger the little spin will be at the end. I don't want it too big and I don't want it too small. Okay. Now I like to straighten out my wire a little bit. And I've learned over the years that if I just push it that way, it's usually going to scratch the rose. So I've learned to lift up just a little bit. And then what I'm doing is giving it a little S. And I'll lift up on the bottom piece and I'll pull back that way a little bit. Let's just go around and do that. Lift up a little bit, push that way up a little bit, pull that way. Number three, lift, and pull, and the last one. And pull back this way. At this point, I might take that and just gently lock it in a little bit more. That way it's not kind of loose on you. Okay. So that's what it looks like so far. And so if there's one side that's open a little bit, let's just say this one's kind of open. What I'll do is I'll take this and I'll bend it and scroll that up. And the one that's kind of open, I just kind of put that down over that side. The other one. And I usually go to the opposite side, but this is kind of open right there, so I'll just fix that so it's not so open. <clears throat> and so I go to the opposite side of the other scroll, right about here, and I'll take this one, do the same thing. Bring that down there, and using the other one off that, I just kind of use them to balance off each other and squeeze it in gently. And voila! And so, if we take a little satin ribbon, about two feet long, kind of thin, put that through there. And voila, we have a beautiful little rose pendant necklace for somebody. Thank you.